My name is Arne Sulin, and I'm an assistant professor in machine learning at Aalto University. Here with me today, I have Lasse Meronen, who is a PhD student in the Saab Aalto Research Program. In recent years, deep learning has been immensely successful in very complicated learning-based tasks, such as image classification and playing games. Yes, and this uh, recent success of deep learning has also caught the attention of Saab, as it's quite important to utilize the potential from such modern technology. And the expertise that Aalto University has in the field of machine learning and artificial intelligence, uh, combined with the interesting application problems that Saab has to offer, makes this a uh, very interesting potential collaboration area for research projects for, uh, between Saab and Aalto. Indeed, uh, but like typical vanilla deep learning approaches, that, like, they might be very accurate in their predictions, but they have no notion of uncertainty related to those predictions. Yes, exactly. And uh, uh, this is very crucial because uh, without any reliable uncertainty estimates, a model can't really recognize uh, when it's encountering unfamiliar situations. And in such a case, uh, the model would predict outcomes with high confidence, even though it doesn't have uh, like any, any experience to base those predictions on. And it like, uh, uh, doesn't have any foundation of predicting anything in this uh, new situation. Indeed. For example, if you think of a case where uh, there would be very uncertain outcomes in a classification task, then the model, if it would know of the uncertainties it has, it could signal the human user to like aid decision making or or like get help in, in, in the analysis that model is doing. Yeah, exactly. And one uh, practical example of this could be, for example, medical diagnosis, where an automatic uh, diagnostic model can usually predict the correct diagnosis quite accurately as long as it's encountering similar symptoms that it has seen also during its training. But then if it uh, encounters a new patient with a new type of uh, symptoms that it hasn't encountered during its training at all, uh, then this model should be able to recognize that this uh, now this is an uncertain case and then the model could flag this, for example, for further inspection by an actual doctor. And also the applications that Saab is mostly interested in, they require this kind of similar uncertainty estimation from the model. Indeed, yeah. Uh, for example, like radar signal analysis, there is quite crucial to, to be uh, kind of certain about your uncertainties. Um, but, but then on the other hand, in, in machine learning, like especially probabilistic machine learning, uh, this is kind of the typical setup. Like there's like uh, methods that are well laid out in the foundational theory of probabilistic methods, such as Gaussian processes, which can already uh, characterize uncertainties and, and deal with prior knowledge. So let's see, what is the reason then? Why do we need to, to like uh, involve deep learning in this? Well, typically the models that have already good uncertainty calibration properties, such as Gaussian processes, they are very difficult to scaling up to large data sets. And if they are scaled up, uh, then uh, this requires quite rough approximations, uh, which then decrease uh, the quality of the good uncertainty estimates quite significantly. And on the other hand, deep learning models are naturally quite suitable for applying on complicated problems and large data sets. And this makes them appealing for these problems but uh, only the uncertainty estimation properties have to be improved for those models. Yeah, uh, but of course, like the, this is another new area and there's a lot of tools and methods proposed for quantifying uncertainty in, in deep learning models, but there's kind of not one like go-to solution for this. Uh, can you lastly summarize how your research aims to address and solve this problem? Well, the focus of my research has been to make some connections between Gaussian processes and deep learning models. And the goal really is to make future deep learning models more robust, more reliable and also aware of their own uncertainties. Thank you for the discussion. Thank you.